Instead, despite the terrible danger they're in, these students are the ones who are better prepared to deal with it. As an adult, as a teacher, I take that as a failure. I couldn't even see them off. Couldn't even see them off because of that. Self-loathing isn't something they needed before they departed. All I can do right now is wish them well and protect what they are forced to leave behind. Good luck, everyone. Come back safe. Still might be long though, actually, so who knows. And you're sure that thing is safe? Perfectly safe. Unless I tell it so, tell it so, it won't even move. Don't fret. I guess we can only take your word for it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Your worry is understandable, Miss Snee, but misplaced. And again, it's just a last minute getaway vehicle. You will probably have no need to get into it at all. If it does come to that though, we're counting on you. Now we're going down in half an hour. If anyone has any last preparation to do, now's the time. No more visual speeches, partner? We've been talking, planning, and preparing for this for months. Either you're ready or you're not aren't. There are no speech I can give that would fix that. Heh, <laughs> true. So, last minute things to do. We should message Neompira. When I didn't contact her last time, she got angry. And while I couldn't ask for her help this time either, I can at least let her know, no? I mean, while I would have loved her watching my back as weird as that can be, that can sound, can't have her and Team Ruby interact. Hey Neo, so you're probably going to kill me after this, but I'm about to do something extremely dangerous. Again. And no, you can't come. Not because I don't want you to want you here, but because we would need to answer a lot of questions about our relationship. Questions that would be put us in danger. Honestly, I wish we could hang out without a dangerous reason for it. And that includes dancing. So, um, I promise I'll be careful and, as weird as that may sound, love you bestie. Okay, let's leave Pyrrha a message. We've gotten close over the last few months, and honestly, she's one of the people I would have most, like, most liked to have at my side here. But how many people must I evolve into this? How many must I put against the boss and the headmaster? Still, I should tell her something. Even if I don't tell her what's going on, she deserves to hear from me right now. Even if she doesn't know why. So what can I tell her? Hey Pyrrha. Um, this may sound corny and unexpected, but... I just wanted to say that I care about you a lot, and I can't wait to see you again. Love you, bye. Well, my character wasn't wrong, that sounded corny. <laughs> but, anyway, finally Ruby! Considering none of them knew anything about this in the implications, I'm impressed. You're thinking about something mean about me? No. Why were you looking my way like that then? Just surprised you didn't make any last minute efforts to try and ditch your team to come down with us? Oh, don't think the thought didn't come through my head, my mind. But considering how we're in an unfamiliar territory with the only company of Professor Peach, I can't leave them alone. You know, speaking of Professor Peach, why is it that you don't like her? Does it look like the right time to ask about something like that? 
I know, I know, but come on, why? I'll tell you when you come back. You know, if this was supposed to be an incentive of some kind, a kiss would have sufficed. Um, yeah, I guess, but... RDAs kind of make me uncomfortable. RDAs? Ruby display of affection. Oh, right. Bet they would tease her to hell and back. Or maybe Penny would like to join in and... Oh, man. So a story we'll have to do. Good luck, boyfriend. Nothing else I can think of. Half an hour is up. It's time. Epic background music in the background. Sally's really slow, so I have to increase the volume. Actually, maybe the volume over here. Okay, that should do it. Maybe a little bit too much, but... See you in a while, then. Good luck, Mr. D. Capkeys. And look out for Gennaro and Titania, please. Break a leg. Not, not literally. Please, you need it to kick ass. I hope we won't have to use that vehicle, so you better succeed. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, and that includes puns better than mine. Good luck. Jack suggested I keep out of sight and tangi tangibility, and I can't help but agree. But I'll be watching your back at all times. No turning back. Time to meet Daddy. It's payback time. It's what it is. I'll teach them, and I'll be right behind you, Janara. Don't do anything reckless and always stay behind me, me and Penny. We're leading. And if we run into Andre, leave him to me. I devise a counter to Wester Semblance. I shall be the one engaging him. Alright, I'll take Howard then. And then... We're dismantling that flaming piece of junk together. There's never the correct balance with this fucking thing. For the volume. Something troubling you, Seal. I'm not worried about them, if that's what you mean, Professor. Considering their forces and what they face, they're as prepared as they could be. So worrying is a waste of energies. No use and no need, huh? Then what's on your mind? My father, and the new AK units. Hmm? I mean, sensing magic? How do you even test something like that? To make a device able to sense a form of energy, you must first be able to isolate and identify it. It needs repeatedly confirmed data. So, how did my father build the AKMH1s? Simple. He managed to collect enough data on what magic is. Oh, very helpful, Professor. My question is, of course, how? It definitely was with the patronage of Iron General Ironwood, and considering what we know, maybe a maiden? Considering Headmaster Osborne's attitude when it comes to them, I really doubt he would allow a scientist from Atlas to experiment on one. Then how did he find another source of magic? Well... I think the most plausible explanation is as follows. I think we can safely assume now that we know that know that it exists that grim or bo beings born of magic. That would explain why science cannot decipher many of their secrets. Because they belong to a sphere of knowledge we know too little of. But that's exactly my point. Indeed. But if we take at a certainty that the creatures are grim or born of magic, then the data of the 
semblance you and Penny share would be more than enough to develop a magic detecting device out of it. You... you mean... It also forces me to reevaluate a theory that most men of science have repeatedly considered a fairy tale. Your very existence may not be a fortuitous discovery seal, but may have, but have a very specific reason. Your father must have cried himself to sleep with pride when he arrived to that conclusion. What the heck is this? The air is breathable but heavy. While I'm thankful for the lighting, considering how precious, precarious the footing seems to be, the color and mood of it makes this place even more eerie than I thought it would be. If I had to describe this in one sentence, this place feels like a, feels like death. Yeah, thank you, Evelyn. My creatures can't do miracles. Just be thankful the ceiling isn't crumbling on top of us. About your creatures, aren't any going to be acting as our support, Janara? Honestly, with the size of these tunnels, there are already too many of us. I'd rather prefer if you kept your firepower for more creative uses of magic, like you did against Amber. And speaking of power, partner, I was already trying, but it's weird. It's like its presence is all around us. I can only say that it feels stronger down the corridor. Figures, let's get moving then. We'll walk in pairs. Me and Penny will lead the column. Then Evelyn and Noah, Janara and Titania, Amber, you'll call for our flanks. Affirmative. Got it. On it. Why with her? Titania? What is it? Look over there. Where? On the wall near the walkway, over the gap. Oh. That's a very familiar looking blob. There's, I think I see more further down the tunnel. Probably as a form of defense, like Titania. Let's agree to stay the hell away from them. All right, as much as we can, yeah? Again, narrow tunnel, narrow tunnels. At, and that walkway's even narrower. Out of my eye. Those poor people. Let's go. Be alert at all times. to know you. I'm sorry this happened to us. There's a split in the road coming up ahead. Partner? Your guess is as good as mine. Should we split up? It was just in jest. Yeah, not funny. Putting it to a vote, where should we go? I say we go down the path with more blobs. That's a very specific reason. Yeah, wouldn't it make more sense to go down the path with less ones, less risk, more space? Yeah, but if there's less blobs, what if it's because they popped? The logic is sound. What with the what with though? I thought this place has had many visitors considering. 
I don't know, but it's, that's for a very good point. Let's go down the right path. Should I scout ahead that way just in case? No. You're our rear guard, remember? We're only heading in that direction if it's absolutely necessary. Ugh. Damn. Ew. Ew, 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 what the fuck? <coughs> Partner? It's getting clearer. You mean, yes. I think this is it. The tunnel opens up into a bigger room, room up ahead. And the tracks seem to end, too. I think this is the furthest the miners ever managed to go. Because the, and they discovered the boss. Everyone, we're not going in there to be reckless or risk our lives. The moment the tides start turning against us, we're running away. But that could only happen because of unknown factors. We're Sir Bella, Howard, Thilla, and Andre. We have plans to counter for all of them. Whatever happens next, we can do this. We'll win and go back home all together. Now, let's do this. Let's get some answers and put everything behind us once and for all. That crystal. The sensation I have. Wow, this cave is... it's enormous. I can't see the end of it. The walls, the ceiling, the floor, there's blobs and veins of Pyro City and everywhere. I can feel a strong magical power coming from that geode. Noah? Yes. It's the clearest and strongest I've ever felt it. It's like a person's body warmth as twisted and alien as the details are, but there's no doubt in my mind. The boss is inside that crystal. Very good, Noah. And let me welcome you all. You've been expected. You. Janara, stay back. But I... You know the plan and you know what you need to need to do. Stay behind us at all times. Ugh, Janara, come on. Fine. But well, you better punch him in the face for me. Hard. If you're quite finished preparing, we have a schedule to maintain, you know? Oh, fuck you and your schedule. We're not here for playing games, Wesser. We're here for answers. What do you and the boss want? Why did Peek have to die for it, and how did I factor into this? What did you do to the flame in its guardian? <laughs> indeed. They're all fair and good questions. And be assured you're going to learn the answers to most of them shortly. Before that though, I'm going to have to ask you to be incapacitated for it. We're not quite ready yet. You're smarmy. Incoming. Huh, you know, Bella, this frenemy stuff is getting real old by now. What she said, Feather Duster. Can't you pick a side already? They're hypnotized, I'm guessing. Bella? Oh, I'm surprised you didn't just bull rush my partner. Oh, that can wait. There are more important things right now. More important things? Don't get distracted, big boy. It's been a while since we played together. Yeah, and I would have been totally fine with having kept that distance till the end of times. Playing hard to get, huh? I love that. Focus, Noah, focus, something more important. 
Howard has had a mad on for me ever since. What could be more important than that? The boss. I can only think of the boss. Then why did they attack us? If they needed more time still, wouldn't it be better keeping on the defense? Stalling? Also, this makes no sense. If the boss is in the crystal, why are they allowing our most destructive member the closest to it? Why is Penny so close while I'm the one who's kept the presence away? In the company of someone whose semblance allows him to see all of my movements. Hmm? I like that smile. Finally decided to play with me, Stud? No. Huh? Pure semblance, pushing myself away hard from the ground. Partner? Oh no, you don't. Jackson wants to slow him down. No, what are you? I got it, Penny. So you don't want me close, do you? Well, we're about to discover why. God damn it! Stop the geese. Howard. Game over, I just need to touch you and... It's done. You can stop acting. What? No one, no. Get away! Don't touch it! It's quite too late for that, boy. Anyway... Thanks for playing right along. No. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Noah, ah, uh, Amber, that's, that's a whirlwind of, that's pure magic. I can't, ugh, Penny, I, I can't, it's like he's stuck. Ugh, what did you do? What did you do? Oh, come now, I hardly did anything. Other than play on Mr. Dikaki's newfound confidence, it seemed to have given you some headaches too, didn't it? You. Ugh. Penny, get away. Get him away. I can't. If I pull any harder, his arm. Noah, my voice. Just do it. Uh, flame? What? He's going to die. He can survive without an arm. Focus on my voice. I. I. Whatever you do, don't let go. Don't let, let him drag you away. Flame, I'm sorry. No, this is my fault. What? I, I can't, I can't do it. Oh, for the love of... Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry, I caught him. What? What happened? Penny, are you alright? I'm the one who who said he wasn't dangerous like this, that he was powerless, but how could I ever think of this? How could I ever realize that he desired this? Uh, what the fuck just happened here oh what the hell what what happened Okay, <laughs> this is weird. Who, who's that? Hi. <laughs> okay, though. Ooh, what? Noah, stay down. I went through hell there. You can't be fine. I'm coming around. Who? What? Of pure 
Dear OC, how long has it been this rush, this feeling of pure existence? The music is so loud that you can barely hear him. He's he's looking right at me. Now I have my bearings. This feeling is nowhere as fragmented or as alien as before. But but, thank you, boy. You can't be. You... you actually did it? Wesser, you bastard! Bella, so there was something wrong with you. When he told us what was going to happen, we refused, and then... Come now, did you really think you could use the boss's magic all the, these years without some consequences? Manipulation... manipulating you was far too easy. And look... I told you there was just a 50% chance of Mr. T. Kapke's biting it. He's alive. No thanks to you, asshole. Indeed. It was all you this time, D. Kapke's. Sure, I may have tricked you, but it was your arrogance and one-track mind that led you into my trap. And thus I salute you and celebrate you. Today, after time in more... In memorial, the boss once more walks the material plane. Weather, today you have earned the gratitude of a god made flesh. In the most literal sense possible. <laughs> the hell are you laughing at? You mean to tell me that all this time, all the bullcrap you put us through. It was just to... to make a... copy of my body? Not a... carboning copy, but yes. He does have your eyes, stud. Just to get a body? Not just anybody, a human body. That has been the boss's desire for a very long time. The request he made of a young boy who got lost one day following his father to work. You? But humans aren't made for normal for normal magic. Figures the magic of a divine being at first we tried simple possession, but it didn't work. So I thought maybe by mixing pieces of his old body with a human one, we could craft a hybrid that could accommodate his soul and power, but that also failed. No matter how many people we sent to their deaths down there, down here, to become aura batteries for him to feed off, not a one was able to become a suitable host. Most we could make out of it was a trap. This level of the mines is littered with our f failures. Not even putting together the body of a magic user was good enough, although we did manage to create life out of that. Impressive, but useless to our aims. I'll, I'll show you useless, Janara. So we we regarded this regret regrettably decided to put it aside and focus on recovering the scattered pieces of his essence and power. Now that the individuals we had chosen for the task at hand had matured enough. And even that regrettably didn't go as planned. The Guardian was defeated, but the Flame managed to craft himself an escape route of its remains. A human. So, I imagine my, imagine my surprise when Howard told me that this escape vehicle had shown signs of channeling the same power that had created him empowered the Guardian we defeated. Noah, I'm fine, I, I need to stand. But of course that wasn't enough. 
we need to test his durability, just how much like a human, normal human, this container was, and just how much of the flame's power it could sustain. So I guess I exceeded expectations? Indeed you have. Able to resist powerful bursts of the boss's essence, able to use aura and develop a semblance? You eat, get sick, study, get hurt, love, decap these, you're what we could have only dreamed of. And to top it all off, the flame had re relinquished enough of its essence back to the boss to allow you to survive the creation process. It may have taken decades, but this experiment has been completely been a complete success. Thus here I stand today because of you and of course the efforts of my should I call you a things now that that doesn't really sound right. But I'll I know that that would imply some kind of mm. <laughs> Oh now he's confused. <laughs> Okay, that's half-assed. A complete success, you say? An experiment? Hmm? This is not science. This isn't science, and you're not a scientist. You're just a sick, twisted, terrible person. There's nothing, nothing in all of this that provides a benefit to people. All that surrounds this experiment is death and suffering. This provides no advancement in anything except the stroking of your own ego. You accidentally managed to create life and you deemed it useless because it wasn't what you were looking for? Yeah, you tell him. You're a pathetic, silly, short-sighted joke of a scientist. And we'll stop you. Penny? This is Rich coming from the daughter of Enrico Palandina. But it does give me an idea for further testing. First of all, let me manufacture a controlled testing environment. Ew! What the hell are those things? Failures, remember? Have fun with them. And now that we've even the playing field a little. Boss, what do you say about undergoing a little test of martial prowess with your new body? What? <laughs> it's just like using a test. But very well. Oh boy, this is going to be a long video. He's coming. I feel a tremendous magical power coming from him. Alright, first of all, I'm sorry, this is all my fault. No one know, so you may not trust me on this, but we have a chance. Wizard had to separate us, which means they're not invincible. Which means that the boss, whatever his nature or power is, is not invincible. Especially since he made himself a human body. No matter what power you have, actually wait, they're sailing. But Salem is a special case for certain reasons, but uh, that's just going to go into too much thought. Invisible, we have a chance. And we're going to grasp it. Yes, together. I can start repairing my debt. Team G, youngsters, you will help me leave the game. Now, help me feel truly alive. Although the voice, <laughs> I can't take it seriously. I'm sorry if this is whoever voice acts the boss. Okay, that was loud. Well, here goes nothing. Ah, 200. Divine Fire. Oh, 
Okay, let's try some of this. I don't know what to do here, <laughs> other than just keep on trying to fight. I might accidentally click hero again, but oh well. More power for me. Ah, uh, dust I have. Okay, let's get this up. Ah, uh, actually. How long is this fucking fight gonna take now, I wonder? Amber, you can see her? I shouldn't be able to. Oh, I see. She's some kind of magic user. Cinder is too. Yet she couldn't feel or detect Amber at all. So the reason me, Janara, and the boss can is... Okay, that did little to nothing, so not you was not you users. That is right, I will say that. I'm going to have to go, go into hero mode again. Oh god, I should heal Penny up. Which I can use with. Come on, okay. Hero. Come on, frickin' bitch.
Uh, I know I'm not talking that much, but again, I don't know where he wants to say to this. Other than, how long is this bike gonna fucking take? Like, what the hell? I clicked the wrong thing again. What? Oh well. Come the fuck on, you fucking bastard. What the? Just how much is his health bar? Like, what? What the fuck do I do here? Checking for time. We're 41 minutes in. Man, are we getting low. Finally! Somewhere! Uh, uh, darn it. You're a tough bastard, but we got you. Alright, good job guys. Don't let up. We're almost done handling these things. You should by now be more familiar with the concept of pain, boss. So I guess you're talking about the rush of adrenaline. It's a substance secreted naturally by the human body. Oh, that face. Did I look like that when we first met? Well, um, you weren't identical, but... It's like looking in a mirror for you. Ugh. Could you focus? I can multitask, don't worry. Also, we definitely needed something to lighten the mood. This isn't over. I'm glad you're enjoying your new body, boss. Now, should we enhance your experience even further? You mean to tell me there is more to human experience? Now, what are you doing, scoundrel? Oh, nothing much. I just thought I'll let the boss experience the most unique advantage humans have over other life forms. Ugh, my eyes! Ah, he. this? Oh no. That's aura? That's aura. This, this amount, I've never, uh, I can't feel anything. Isabella, I know, let's hurry. I, I can't feel aura as well as you do, but is it bad, Noah? I swallow. Yes, it's bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Truly. Humans, you have kept these from the gods. Or far. Oh no, what has happened here? I'm terrified now. the fuck do I fight with this? Three thou- Okay, no, ma no matter what, we, we have to keep my character alive at all times. We have to have everyone that has life support here. <laughs> Fuck. 
Okay, I do some damage. Not a whole fucking lot, but... Oh, okay, this is gonna be painful. What the fuck? Okay, focus on everyone's war healing. We're the only one doing fucking damage. Ugh. Penny, Noah, Titania, Amber. This is, this is hopeless, isn't it? The moment he unlocked his aura, we lost any hope of defeating him. <laughs> so what was that about, fake science daughter of Polandina? What was that bleeding heart bullcrap about results benefiting your neighbor? My results are what will make my name known in history. And even if it won't be, my knowledge of my success is all that matters. Divine magic, an aura, and soon a semblance. I, Wester Von Goeth, made a god in the flesh and created the superior being, supreme being. Oh, will you just shut up? I'm already in enough pain without having to listen to your bullshit about gods and divine beings. You think you're hot shit? We get it. Now put a sock in it. Um, oh my. You seem to think I'm just shooting the shit, as they say? Um, guys, I know that Wisher likes the sound of his own voice a bit too much, but he's not exaggerating here. What? You... you cannot be serious. You mean to tell me that... no, the gods are just two, and... Come on, they're obviously lying. You're lying. How... who would believe something like that? I think I do. <laughs> Bob also vouches for him. He's the real deal. I guess you're more familiar with all my brothers in this planet, but can you think of any other existence that has survived for so long as a pure soul? What what's happening now? Why did he stop talking all of a sudden? Boss, what's wrong? She's coming. See, what would you have us do then, boss? I hate to cut celebrations short, but we should be wizard. As you wish. I trust your graph so and your powers are strong enough now to discard those rebellious pawns? The hell do you just call me? Bella, calm down. You think you can just leave? General, there's nothing. After all of you done and said to us, you think you can just leave? You little... you dare? With pleasure, boss. Oh, uh, what now? Why did everything go dark? They must have done something to the w wiring. But also the crystal and the pyrocidian. It's like they lost all life and... The ground is... Why? Pyrocidian. No one has ever managed to explain its properties, its existence. If Pyro Obsidian only exists because it was the boss's body, if he suddenly renounced his claim to it, all the untreated Pyro Obsidian will... Genara, call for Team Ruby. We need that instruction. Isabella, Bella, with me. 
already on it. Stay close to at least another person at all times. That sound was Wester's failure going out of control. So now we got to open the path through those things? Fucking great. Penny, how are you holding up? I'm sorry, but I don't have enough aura to fight. I will help Titania. This is all my fault. We're battered, broken, defeated. A god is on the loose, with little inclination as to respect, respecting life. And no idea what he's going to do next. We're trapped down here. A swarm of monsters between us and the exit. And Howard hasn't shown his face yet, has he? All of this because I couldn't keep my damned hands to myself. Because once I got stronger in body, I got cocky and overconfident. I forgot. I forgot what carried me this far. I forgot what allowed me to push through everything that came my way when my body couldn't keep up. Thinking. What? What was that? Howard. Everyone, you need to go. Amber, I need you to be my eyes. Of course. No, what are you saying? Are you sure about this, partner? Why? Why do you sound like you're considering it? You little... We're not leaving you, big... We're not leaving Big Brother behind. Yes, you are. And if you want to be useful, make a path for me to follow afterwards. On top of our relationship, I have something inside of me that the boss wants, remember? And now that I have served my purpose, there's no reason to keep me alive any longer. Me and Amber will be your rear guard and take some heat off you. Now go. Partner, just answer me this. Do you have a plan? Yes, I do. Let's go. Ugh, Noah, don't you dare. No, 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 big brother, let me go. Let me go, you cunt. No! Noah, please, we need you. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill all of you. Noah, please. We don't need any heroes today. Sorry for asking you to stay behind, Amber. I'm literally the only person of the group whose survival is guaranteed. I could have remained even if you hadn't asked me. Thank you then. So where is he? The ceiling. Again, this is going to be a long one no matter what. I need some light, please. Okay, what the hell? So we're actually doing it. Hold up, I'm decreasing this now. We're actually climbing inside the giant drill with legs. Yes, we are. In post haste, our friends need the cavalry. So we ride inside the giant drill with legs. Oh, that thing's disgusting. Come on. You seem to be particularly susceptible to my semblance. Let's press onwards. Bella, you've started to... This is not the time to discuss it. We need to get Big Brother's friends out of here. Without the boss's magic, you... Not the time. Noah stay behind so we can go forward. So let's go forward. <sighs> I'm running on fumes, but a little more, just a little more. Noah, he stopped moving. Good. That's good. 
Amber, keep the lights on. Yes. Always keep the lights on. Ouch. Come on, Howard. Let's see you try to hit a moving target while your movements are slowed. He stopped attacking. I knew it. We're both out of time, aren't we? Without Bella or the boss around, you can't leave here easily, can you? The longer you wait, the more dangerous it is. This whole place is going to crumble on top of us very soon. So there are uh, your options. We can both keep fighting until I die, and then you can take your chances with the mountain falling on top of you. You can try and go after my friends and take your chance with them before taking your chances with the collapse. And or third, we end this right here and we both go our separate ways. The choice is yours. Noah, he's gone. Good. And now we should go be going to. I was about to suggest that. Run! Of course, of course, we come out of the giant drill with legs, and what do we find? A posse of disgusting monsters I never heard of before. They're definitely not grim. Let me tell you, can this day get any weird? Weiss, will you shut up and kill the goddamn monsters? What does it look like I'm doing? Venting and getting on my nerves. We sneak excel at multitasking, sister. We're here. Hurry up, Penny, you and Titania go first. Titania, what happened? Long story, Mom. Jack, oh my gods, are you alright? Where? Where? Where's Noah? He's behind us. Ruby, no. Uh, uh, Noah, I'm fine. I just, I just stumbled. You're out of breath. You've been pushing yourself too hard. I'm fine. Just give me that. Noah. Ruby, what are you doing here? A last minute rescue, of course. I swear, I don't think I've ever been happier to. Okay, we got Ruby, you should go. But what? I can't make that jump. I can barely stand right now. It's over. Um, I feel I'm just going to end this part here because I don't want to make this any longer than necessary. <laughs> Even though I know for a fact that a bunch of shit is going on, but at least we're at a good stopping point for now. On to the next part. We'll continue.